Hello, my name is Darren Thomas, and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to learn a little bit about do and till loops in Excel VBA. So let's see what we can learn about this. Now, when we're talking about do and till loops, we are talking about a loop that continues until a certain criteria is met. So here I have my loop. This is a picture of it. And so what happens is that it repeats the process over and over again until you reach a certain criteria. That's what it is. There are different types of loops inside Microsoft Excel, but this is the one we're focusing on. So um, to give you a, a hint of what we're going to do, we're going to take a value. That's going to be this guy right here, X. We're going to take a value here and we're going to put it inside our loop here. And what's going to happen is that we're going to square the value right here. So X times X and we're going to save it as Y. Then what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if Y is greater than 2000. If it is not greater than 2000, we're going to code the new X as the Y value. And we're going to go back up here into the loop again. That's what we're going to do. And then we repeat the process. When we finally have a value that is greater than 2000, we're going to exit the loop over here, as you can see. And so, the do loop continues to do something until we get a value that is beyond 2000. That is how it works. And like I already said a few moments ago, there are different types of loops that you can find inside Microsoft Excel VBA. Now, what we're going to do next is, is we're going to go over here to um, the VBA developer inside Excel and see if we can kind of go through the process here. So now I'm inside the uh, VBA developer and so we have to of course oh one thing I forgot to mention is that we're going to be creating a subroutine I should have mentioned that earlier so we're going to call this subroutine square loop like this it has no arguments inside and we need to dim our X as a double whoa dim and we also need to, to uh, the, the dim our Y as a double like so and so then we're done with that now what we need to do next is we need to make our input box because we're going to ask the user to give us a number and then once we have that number we're going to uh save that number as our x value and start to run with it so x equals input box like shown and it's going to say enter your number so we're going to ask for the number with this input box and now it's time for our do so we're going to do and this is what we're going to do y is going to equal x times x and then we're going to say if y is greater than 2000 then exit do now what's happening here is that we're going to be using the if then statement. So this is where we're going to be checking to see if it meets our criteria. All right. Now, after that, we're going to set X equal to Y to start it over. Then we're going to loop again. And if everything works out, we're going to get a message box at the end that says your, whoops, got to put the quotes in your number is put a space there all right put an ampersand and then put our y variable like so everything is set up appropriately and so this is how we're going to do this and so we're going to of course declare our, our variables first our x and y input box uh, enter your number then we're going to go through our do loop like like you can see here and we're going to run through that i should probably indent this a little bit more make it easier to read there we go uh, then y is going to be x times x that's a way to square it if y is greater than 2000 then exit do if not set x equal to y and then go back up to the top so what we're going to do now is we're going to run through this by pressing f8 so when i press f8 it'll begin to run step by step and down here in the lower half of your screen in the local section, you'll start to see the variables uh, take on different values. So let's see if we can do this now. So I do F8. All right, you can see here I started it. 
And so right now, X and Y are set to zero. I press F8 again. Now I'm at the input box. I press F8. It asks me for a number. I'll just put in the number five for now. Click OK. Now we're going to the do loop. You can see it highlighted in yellow. I'm going to square it. So if you look down at the bottom screen, you can see the number went to 25. All right, X equal to Y because my value was not greater than 2000. Have to go back. So I'm looping again. I go right back up to where I do X times X for Y. This time you can see it changed to 625. Not quite there yet. I go back and declare my new X as the, the Y value. All right, loop again. There you can see now the number is huge. 390,625. I keep working on it, exit the do, and now I get my message here, and it pops up. Your number is 390,625. And so now we clearly have a value that is beyond 2,000, which is why we exited the do until loop, and we have this output box right here. Great experience. And so now we end the subroutine. So that is how it works. So let me see if I can summarize what we did and wrap up this video. So in this video, we learned how to create and implement a do until loop inside a subroutine uh, using Microsoft Excel VBA. And so a do until loop is a loop that continues until you reach a specific criteria. It is not the only type of loop you will find in Microsoft Excel VBA, but that's the one we're dealing with. So in our specific example, we created a subroutine called square loop. We declared two variables and our goal was to have the subroutine take in a number and continue the loop until our, our take in a number, square it, excuse me, and continue to square the number until the number was beyond the value of 2000. And so as we ran through it, we did that. And when we finally got a value beyond 2000, we got an output message that told us what our number was and the actual, you know, the value of, that it was. So, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you so much for watching and take care.